Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we will have a discussion related to the Oracle Database Administration job. There are many people, they are more worried about whether the Oracle Database Administration jobs are getting died because of this autonomous database or cloud computing. See, to understand this thing, let me give you one example in the past. When Oracle has introduced the AMM, which is automatic memory management, we thought it will be working fine. But when we deployed the Oracle database, we have seen there are some issues with this AMM and we need to fix that issue. So who has fixed that issue? It has been fixed by the Oracle database administrator. So here what is happening here whenever new things are coming into the market, it is always coming with some problem. To fix that problem we need a DBM. I can also understand that it is very easy to administer onto the cloud computing because if you talk one example about the GCP which is a Google Cloud Platform or AWS platform it is really easy to create the cluster you just need to sign up over there create the uh, just create the instance and just you know if you are using the data prog you can get the Hadoop cluster very easily if you are using the EMR instance of Amazon you can directly get all the component of your Hadoop cluster including your edge base everything you will get very easily the same thing goes for our oracle database administrator but the thing is we need to set up that thing and whenever new things are coming into as a technology it is always coming with some bugs to fix that bugs we need a dba so initially when we started our career as a dba we used to take the backup which is a manually thing we need to just backup like copy and paste but uh, when Oracle has introduced RMAN, we need to take the backup with the help of RMAN. But when later on we think like it is very difficult, you know, when I want to start my backup early in the morning by 5 o'clock, I cannot go and uh, again log into the RMAN prompt and take the backup. So we have introduced something called RMAN script and we have just configured that script into the cron tab. So it was a scheduler. Automatically backups were happening into the early in the morning. So we don't need to take care about the backups. But what happened? On next day, we found that the backups are getting failed because of some issue. So who has fixed that issue? It is a Oracle database administration. So basically what I can say, the redundant work into the future can be, can be, you know, it can be vanished. Just like your installation, upgradation, patching will be there. So this work will not be there into the future because of this new technologies which are coming into the market but when these new technologies are coming it will always come with some new work so as a dpa what is our responsibility we need to understand that what new things are coming into the market we need to grab that technology and we need to be prepare ourselves if you want to survive into the it industry and this is how the work is happening into the it industry so uh, one again one more thing which I want to highlight over here there are many clients still they are using the 9 and 10 g databases because they are not ready to change their infrastructure they, their applications are not supporting or because of some you know budget issue so to there are still databases which are working on 9 and 10 g database and in order to you know work on this technology work on this for the management of the database we need a DPA in the last of the video what I can say that if new things are coming you need to be ready yourself to understand the technology you need to grab the technology and just start working learning and you'll be there as a DBA maybe this DBA word will not be DA there it can be a cloud DBA it can be anything but anyway we have a jobs we have the openings as a DBA only the roles of the DBA may be changed into the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel. And I am also creating the videos based upon the Oracle 18C and 19C in the future. 18C I have already created as an installation part. So you will get the installation link into the description box. Just be ready and happy learning. Thank you so much. Bye bye for today.